Canyon does not quite follow the usual rules for planets. The planet is not much bigger than Mars. Until a few hundred years ago, its atmosphere was just dense enough to support photosynthesis using plants. The air held oxygen, but was too thin for human or Kazinti life. The native life was as primitive and hardy as lichen. Animals had never developed at all. But there were magnetic monopoles in the cometary halo around Canyon's orange-yellow sun, and radioactives on the planet itself. The Kazinti Empire swallowed the planet and staffed it with the aid of domes and compressors. They called it Warhead for its proximity to the unconquered Piran worlds. A thousand years later, the expanding Kazinti Empire met human space. The man kazin Wars were long over when Louis Wu was born. Men won them all, and Kazinti have always had a tendency to attack before they are quite ready. Civilization on Canyon is a legacy of the Third man kazin War, when the human world Wonderland developed a taste for esoteric weapons. The Wonderland Treaty Maker was used only once. It was a gigantic version of what is commonly a mining tool. A disintegrator that fires a beam to suppress the charge on the electron. Where the disintegrator beam falls, solid matter is rendered suddenly and violently positive. It tears itself into a fog of monoatomic particles. Wonderland built and transported into the warhead system an enormous disintegrator firing in parallel with a similar beam to suppress the charge on the proton. The two beams touched down 30 miles apart on Canyon's surface. Rock and Kazinti factories and housing spewed away as dust, and a solid bar of lightning flowed between the two points. The weapon chewed 12 miles into the planet, exposing magma throughout a region the size and shape of Baja California on Earth, and running roughly east and west. The Kazinti industrial complex vanished, the few domes protected by stasis fields were swallowed by magma. Magma that welled higher in the center of the great gash before the rock congealed. The eventual result was a sea surrounded by sheer cliffs, many miles high, surrounded in turn, a long, narrow island. Other human worlds may doubt that the Wonderland Treaty Maker ended the war. The Kazinti Patriarchy is not normally terrified by sheer magnitude. Wonderlanders have no such doubts. Warhead was annexed after the Third man Kazin War and became Canyon. Canyon's native life suffered, of course, from the gigatons of dust that dropped on its surface, and from the loss of water that precipitated within the canyon itself to form the sea. In the canyon, there is comfortable air pressure and a thriving pocket-sized civilization. Canyon was settled by humans at around the year 2500. Because of Canyon's lower gravity, dim sun, and habitation at the bottom of a deep, steep canyon, the people of Canyon tend to be about a foot to a foot and a half taller than their counterparts on Earth, and they are very pale as their bodies have no need for melanin. But as a more recently colonized planet, settled after the hyperdrive was invented, they are still very genetically similar to Earth's population when compared to the citizens of the first settled planets like Wonderland and Jinx. But even they were only settled less than 500 years earlier, so clearly the biggest impact on looks was where they spent their developmental years, meaning that if a citizen of Earth and a citizen of Canyon got pregnant and each moved to each other's worlds before their babies started to develop, the Earth Woman's child would grow up to look just like any other resident of Canyon. And same with the Canyonite Woman. Her baby would look just like any other human on Earth when it grew up. But even just having your pregnancy in the wrong gravity could cause issues. Usually not so much if the mother is moving to a lower gravity planet, but when moving to a higher gravity planet, it can cause problems for the baby's health. Hey, thanks for watching. I really appreciate you staying this long, and since you did, hopefully that means you like my channel. So I'd really appreciate it if you would like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe, so I can see you back here for the next one. Take care.